Welcome to Meaningful Mornings. Yesterday, I received an email from a Devi in our community. She was supposed to join our Yatra through Canada, but her mother was injured in India, so she couldn't join us. So she's with her mother right now, and she wrote to me that she's going to participate in the silence retreat this weekend virtually, and she's going to complete her half marathon while in India. This morning, I was planning to jog 12 miles. The Cleveland half marathon is this. Saturday. And as I was jogging, I was re remembering her and her dedication. And I was thinking about how she could find the time and space to complete a half marathon in India. I definitely can complete a half marathon in Niagara Falls. So I did this morning. i joining you minutes after completing this. And the only reason I feel I was able to push myself to that level was remembering our community with the right role models. Engaging in tapa is natural. Tapa means openness or to burn down one's comfort zone. The first time I ran a half marathon was in 2012. I just turned 31. And after that half marathon, I could barely walk for a week. Now I'm planning to complete two this week. Again, this is natural if you can tune into purpose pulls, performance. And so this morning's Meaningful Mornings is just going to be free-flowing. <laughs> Whatever I was thinking about while I'm running, I'm just going to speak it out right now. <laughs> For those who are qualified by Daivi Sampati. That means their wealth is values. Then they are going to evolve in their life. Sri Krishna shares 26 values. And the reason for this, for one to evolve, one has to be active. If you take your car in for a tune-up and they look at it from five checks, you pay so-and-so amount, but if it's a 40-point check, you're going to pay more because the quality is going to be higher. Comparatively, if you're qualified by asuri sambati, your treasure, the word sambati means treasure, but in this case, it's almost like debt, is vices, and you are going to Devolve. To devolve, one doesn't have to be active. Be passive. Eat, drink, and pretend to be merry. <laughs> and that's why Sri Krishna only shares six vices. We're already oriented towards this. So he's giving much more attention, divinities, and the details to the Daivi Sambhati. Speaking more about evolving and devolving, the rest of the flow of this chapter relates to this. We're on verse 5. Daivi sampaddi mokshaya Nibandaya surimata Mashucha sampadam daivim Abhijato si pandava 
joy. The first quarter, Daivi Sambat or Daivi Sambati, the purpose of this, the trajectory of this, Vimokshaya, is for freedom, for peace. Try to tune into some of the etymology of this word, Daivi. Devi comes from the word Devi. Devi means the shining one. Devi comes from the root Div, which means to shine. The one whose lifestyle is brilliant is one who shines. Their <coughs> nature is to shine. In other words, they are awareness. Please remember the connection to chapter 15. Sri Krishna calls Prince Arjuna Anaga. For the one who becomes pure, next they will become Bharata. They will revel in light. Comparatively, Mata, that is the thought flow of Sri Krishna, Krishna, our maps, our guides, Nibandhaya Asuri, what being selfish leads to is Bandha, Bandha means limited, Nibandha means one is bound to stress, anxiety, dejection. This is what they feel they are. They normalize this. We are in a lovely portion of Srimad Bhagavatam. In yesterday's class, I shared so much about the difference between integrity and disintegration. I'm going to read one verse for all of you. Vittam meva kalau nirnam Janmachara gunodayaha Dharma nyaya vyavasthayam Karanam balamevahi. Shri Krishna shares When one is living in Kali, darkness, fastness, selfishness, then what do they respect? Money and power. Check yourself. What do you respect? What do you want people you care for to become? We may say peace. But I feel inwardly we feel differently. It takes courage to want the next generation to not focus on money and power. And this is why Puja Swami Tejo Mayananda has shared, this is the second time I'm sharing this with you, tomorrow I'm going to share it again. The antidote to the disease of selfishness is take Nama and give Dana. Take Nama means remember divinity inside in mind. Don't take money and power. Give it away. That's the point of give dana. Give that money away. Give the power to someone else. This will only lead to darkness, fastness, selfishness. But courage. Will we follow through with this? You have to check yourself. Sri Krishna is very overt about this in Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita. I love this next line. Mashuchaha Sampadam Devin. He's holding Prince Arjuna's hands and saying, Sampati Devin. Your nature is that of values. And since this is your nature, it's actually virtues. And so he says, Mashuchaha, 
Does anyone know what mashucha means? Don't worry. What a lovely message. Don't worry. Your nature is of values and virtues. I'm reading a point from Pujya Swami Chinmayananda. Ethical virtues are the intelligent ways of reviving humans' exhausted energies and fatigued spirit to live. By living these healthy values of righteous living, the individual unshackles his psychological personality from its self-made entanglements. If you worry, you are the problem. And if you don't worry, you are the solution. Shri Krishna is saying, don't worry because of Prince Arjuna's lifestyle and vision. And solidifying this. Abhijataha Asi Pandava Prince Arjuna, you are Abhijataha, born with this Daivi Sampati. If we can rewind to chapter one of Bhagavad Gita, Prince Arjuna, leave alone worry. He is miserable. But see the love of Sri Krishna that he's giving him a path to go from being miserable to being carefree. And he's doing this. My observation is, the more you shift your investment from IQ to EQ to SQ, the less you worry. So if you find that you're a worrier about articles, circumstances, being, remember I said to check yourself about what do you respect? Maybe it's still money and power or IQ. But if you're becoming that person that sleeps well, wakes up well, doesn't feel overwhelmed, you are shifting to EQ, SQ. You are shifting to peace. Another insight from Pujya Swami, Chinmayananda. Imagine he's saying this directly to you. And why even imagine he is? You are born of the divine estate that a seeker has the necessary interest and perseverance to read the Gita. Up to this chapter, itself shows that he belongs to the divinely good category. You have been part of Meaningful Mornings. Today is week 151. Today we complete verse 575, only 125 more verses to go. Forget about listening to me. I know you don't do that. Even if you're hearing what I'm saying, <laughs> this is an indication from Sri Krishna, from Puja Swami Chinmayananda, that your sampati, your well, is Daivi, Devi, Dev. That means if you've been this steady, you've applied this much, as we complete the remaining 125 verses, when Prince Arjuna says, Nashta Moha, that I know why I'm born, to not be born again, you too will feel this. Your whole life you've been disproven. In this manner, you will be disproven too. From inspiration to application. Your application yesterday was to rate yourself in terms of kroda. Are you awfully angry or awesomely cool? How many of you are less than 50? Meaning you're awfully angry by show of hands. More than 50, you're awesomely cool? Okay, good. My reflection is that I'm more than 50. I don't assign anger to be part of my personality. And that makes me really happy because that means I'm not unhappy. 
being angry I told you is a serious matter. Your application for this morning. We have released a new podcast, which is called Stairway to Serenity. My father was telling me recently, when he was younger, that he and his cousins went to see Led Zeppelin in Buffalo. I never had that good fortune. I got to listen to Robert Plant live, and he's awesome. So supposedly one of the greatest songs ever written is called Stairway to Heaven. But we all know heaven is temporary. That's why this podcast is called Stairway to Serenity, (laughs) which is forever. This is actually a form of Vedanta 101. Vedanta 101. So anyone who wants to know more about the vocabulary on how to reflect on Vedanta, listen to this and share this with people whom you feel will benefit from a 101 course, a 101 teaching. We shall continue feeling more about what selfishness can do to us. Be afraid. (laughs) Shanti. 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 Be joy.